Welcome to the lecture series on numerical methods. Currently, we are discussing uh, interpolation. In the interpolation, we have discussed like finite difference operators and uh, like Newton's forward difference formula, backward difference formula, and central difference formula. And uh, in the last lecture, we have a uh, cover of this Lagrange interpolation uh, formula. So, now we will discuss about uh, uh, Newton's divided difference formula. So, before going to Newton's divided difference uh, interpolation, first we will discuss about what is divided differences. So, divided difference means if you will just uh, have a set of uh, data points like x0, y0, x1, y1 up to xn, yn here. Maybe it is uniformly spaced or non-uniformly spaced, but we can use this divided differences here. So, suppose this corresponding values of uh, y in terms of x, if we are just expressing here as y equals to f of x for x equals to x0 to xn here we can just uh, express this divided difference for this function y equals to f of x as like f of x0 x1 for two consecutive points we can just write f of x1 minus f of x0 by x1 minus x0. Similarly, if we want to write for uh, x1 x2 for two consecutive points, since uh, whatever these tabular points I have written it off here that is starting point is x0, next point is x1, corresponding this y values are associated values like y0, y1. So, we can just write this first function as also y1 minus y0 by x1 minus x0 here. And for the second two points like x1 and x2, if I want to express in divided difference form. I can just write f of x2 minus f of x1 by x2 minus x1 here, which can be written as y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1 here. Obviously, the question arises that if we are just writing this uh, values of x0 and x1 here in a augmented form or in arguments, then how we can just express f of x0 here. So, we can just write obviously f of x0 equals to f of x0 as this one and f of x1 since it all are independent points, we can just write these arguments as the functional values at that points. And if we are just going up to the last of the interval here that is xn minus 1 to xn here, we can just write this divided difference of uh, xn minus 1 to xn as f of x n minus f of x n minus 1 divided by x n minus x n minus 1 and this can be written as also y n minus y n minus 1 divided by x n minus x n minus 1 here. So, these are all called uh, first order divided difference here and if you will just go for second order divided differences here, then we can just uh, express the second order divided difference especially if uh, the points are placed at like uh, x0, y0, x1, y1 up to xn, yn here. At a time if we are just considering three points suppose x0, x1 and x2, we can just write this divided difference that in the form of a uh, second order divided differences that is f of x0, x1, x2 as f of x1, x2 minus f of x0, x1 divided by x2 minus x0 here. And uh, the third order divided difference since if you will just see here for second order divided difference we are just considering three points. For the first order divided difference we are just considering two points there. So, if you will just go for third order divided difference here, then we have to consider like four points here x0, x1, x2, x3 and it can be written in the form of like f of x1, x2, x3 minus f of x0, x1, 
x2 divided by x3 minus x0. And for another order divided difference, we can just write that one as like another order. If you will have uh, like n plus one values here, x0, x1, 2, up to xn here, we can just write this one as x1 to xn minus f of x0 to xn minus 1 divided by xn minus x0 here. We can just see that if we are just uh, going for this like first order divided difference, we are just using two points and especially that can establish a relationship between this functional values at x1 and x0. And if we are just going for the second order divided difference here, we can just find that this establishes a relationship between like if again if you will just uh, take this differences here, it can be written in the form of f of x2 minus f of x1 divided by x2 minus x1 minus f of x1 minus f of x0 divided by x1 minus x0 divided by x2 minus x0 here. This means that this establishes a relationship between x2, x1 and x1, x0. And uh, if you will just go for this third order divided difference here, it, it establishes a relationship between like x0, x1, x2 and x3 combinedly here. The advantage of this method is that in a Lagrangian interpolation method, usually whenever a extra point is added there, so we have do all the computations newly. This means that all of these products again we have to consider in a modified form that the extra point can be multiplied with rest of the factors there. But here if you will just see this extra point can be added in a uniform way that extra multiplication is not needed. If you are just uh, seeing this uh, differences here, these arguments are like equal if the divided differences may still have a meaning here. This means that if the arguments are equal like suppose x0, if we want to write like f of x0, x0 there. This means that if we are just writing f of x0, x1 suppose, where x1 can be written as x0 plus epsilon, where epsilon is very small. This means that we can just consider epsilon tends to 0 here. So then we can just express f of x0, x1 as f of x1 minus f of x0 divided by x1 minus x0. Obviously, this is the like first order uh, this divided difference, this formula represents in this form here. But if you will just replace this x1 here in the form of x0 plus epsilon, where epsilon is very small, we can just write this uh, statement as in the form of a limit epsilon tends to 0, f of x0 plus epsilon minus f of x0 divided by epsilon here. And obviously, this is nothing but uh, f dash of uh, x0 here. So, we can just uh, say that here, if the arguments are equal, then the divided difference still produces some value here. And it is in the form like if we are just considering here f of x0, x0, where x1 can be represented in the form of x0 plus epsilon and epsilon is very small, then it can just represent the derivative of this function at that point only. So, if suppose f of x is a differentiable and if we will have this r plus 1 argument suppose, like we can just write f of x0, x0 up to r plus 1 times we can just write this one as f to the power r of x0 by r factorial. Since if you will just see here, two points are there, so that is why we are just writing this as f of x0, x0 as f dash x0 here. Similarly, we can just consider that this should be r plus 1 points to get this derivative in the form of order of r here. So, if we will just go for this uh, divided difference uh, table here perfectly, we can just find that this tabular values like i equals to 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and its corresponding values suppose x0, x1, x2, x3, x4. 
then we can just evaluate this first order divided difference, second order divided difference, third order divided difference to get any of the approximated value within that range. This means that suppose like our earlier computation if the value is asked to compute within any of the interval suppose, then we have to use this divided difference in such a fashion that this value can be computed in easily, easy form. So, that is why if you will just consider like i as the values as 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 here, the corresponding x i values are x 0, x 1, x 2, x 3, x 4 here and corresponding this y values we can just write y as y 1 sorry y 0, y 1, y 2, y 3, y 4 here or we can just write this one as f of x 0, f of x 1, f of x 2, f of x 3, f of x 4. And if you will take this first order divided difference here, sometimes also this divided difference is written in this form also. And the first order divided difference if you will just see that is just giving you f of x 0, x 1 here. This means that the difference of these two divided by the difference of these two here. And if you will just take this divided difference of uh, x1, x2 here, that will just give you f of x2 minus f of x1 divided by x2 minus x1 here. Similarly, if you will just consider this divided difference of uh, like x2, x3 here. <coughs> Then we can just consider that one as a f of x3 minus f of x2 divided by x3 minus x2. Similarly, we can just find this divided difference of like uh, x3, x4 as f of x3, f of x4 minus f of x3 divided by x4 minus x3. And then second order divided difference, you can just uh, find it out here that is in the form of like uh, f of x0, x1, x2. And then we can just write this one as f of x1, x2, x3 here. And uh, next divided difference we can just write x2, x3, x4 here. Similarly, the third order divided difference if you will just see, you can just write this one as f of x0, x1, x2, x3. And the third order divided difference for this function if you will just write this can be started from x1 to x3, x4 here. And the last divided difference we if you, we want to write, this can be rep represented as fourth divided difference, which can be written as f of x0, x1, x2, x3, x4 here. So, if uh, the tabular value is uh, just uh, given like uh, xi and yi, so we can just find this divided difference table and based on this divided difference table data we can just evaluate this polynomial at any point within this interval using any of the formula like uh, Newton's divided difference formula or any specified formula which can be based on this uh, divided differences. So, next we can just show that this divided difference arguments are independent. This means that if we are just considering this uh, arguments here. The arguments can be written in the form of like uh, suppose uh, three arguments if we are just writing or the second order arguments, these arguments can be written in the form of like x0, x1, x2 here. This can be written also as f of x0, x2, x1 and this can also be written in the form of like f of x1, x0, x2. <coughs> so, this can be proved easily since uh, if you will just see for a first order divided difference either we can just write f of x0, x1, it can be written as f of x1 minus f of x0 divided by x1 minus x0 or it can be written as f of x0 minus f of x1 divided by x0 minus x1 here. This is nothing but f of x1, x0 here. So, similarly we can just uh, show this uh, independent order of uh, arguments are uh, like independent in a uh, like a divided difference of order 2, order 3, we can just uh, show that one also. So, 
if you will just uh, go for this uh, like second order divided difference, we can just uh, find that f of x0, x1, x2, it can be written in the form of like uh, f of x1, x2 minus f of x0, x1 divided by x2 minus x0 here. And uh, if I will just uh, take here 1 by x2 minus x0, then it can be written in the form of like f of x2 minus f of x1 divided by x2 minus x1 minus f of x1 minus f of x0 divided by x1 minus x0 here. So, if I will just uh, take common of uh, these terms here, I can just uh, show that 1 minus x2 minus x0, this can be written in the form of like a f of x1 minus f of x2 by x1 minus x2 minus f of x0 minus f of x1 by x0 minus x1 there. And obviously, if you will just interchange this signs, we can just write this complete statement as in the form of here f of x0 divided by x0 minus x1 x0 minus x2 plus f of x1 divided by x1 minus x0, x1 minus x2 plus f of x2 divided by x2 minus x0, x2 minus x1 here. So, again interchanging of arguments, it does not affect the solution process also here. Similarly, it can be shown that if you will just uh, consider a anothoda divided difference, it can be written in the form of like uh, f of x0, x1 to xn suppose a n plus 1 terms are there. So, that is why we can just say that this is a anothoda divided difference and it can be written in the form of like f of x0 divided by x0 minus x1 to x0 minus xn plus f of x1 divided by x1 minus x0, x1 minus x2 of 2, x1 minus xn plus f of xn divided by xn minus x0, xn minus x1 of 2, xn minus xn minus 1 here. Hence, we can just say that this uh, divided differences are symmetric in their arguments. Now, let the arguments be equally spaced suppose like x1 minus x0 equals to x2 minus x1. Suppose this uh, space size is uh, h here. If it is uh, equally spaced, we can just uh, say that all of this uh, differences like we can just express x0 minus x1 as a h here. So, it can be expressed as a h to the power n here. Similarly, f of x1 by h to the power n. So, likewise, we can just express the total arguments here. So, if we want to express it in divided difference form formula, suppose, then we can just uh, use this one in a form that is f of x equals to f of x0 plus x minus x0 f of x0 x1 plus x minus x0 x minus x1 f of x0 x1 x2 plus up to x minus x0 x minus x1 x minus xn minus 1 f of x0 x1 to xn. So, if we want to prove this formula that Newton's divided difference interpolation formula here, the statement is if x0 x1 to xn are given set of observations for y0 y1 y2 up to yn are their corresponding values where the function y equals to f of x is given, then the interpolating polynomial is f of x equals to f of x0 plus x minus x0 f of x0 x1 plus x minus x0 x minus x1 f of x0 x1 x2. So, likewise we can just uh, write this one as x minus x0 x minus x1 to x minus xn minus 1 f of x0 to xn here. 
So, especially this immediate next term it can be said to be as the remainder term where another x value it is required to get this a last term there. Since if you will just see here for the remainder term or the next immediate term if you will just see this needs another term here that is x minus x n here and it also requires another extra point to get this remainder term for the series to truncate over there. So, if you will just see it can be written in the product form also here that is f of x equals to i equals to 0 to n f of x 0 x 1 to x i that can be written as also product of j equals to 0 to i minus 1 x minus x j. And uh, if you will just go for the proof of uh, uh, this uh, divided difference formula here especially we can just write f of x x 0 this can be written in the form of like f of x minus f of x 0 divided by x minus x 0. Either way you can just write that one since uh, this uh, order of arguments are independent or symmetrical in nature. So, from these two if we want to separate f of x we can just write f of x equals to f of x 0 plus x minus x 0 f of x x 0 here. Similarly, if you will just uh, write or if we will just uh, add extra more point here like x x 0 x 1 here we can just write this one as f of x 0 x 1 or we can just write as f of x x 0 here minus f of since we are just uh, saying that this is a uh, independent of order of arguments we can write in any forms here. So, f of x 0 x 1 here divided by x minus x 1 and uh, if we will just uh, separate this f of x x 0 here this can be written in the form of f of x 0 x 1 plus x minus x 1 into f of x x 0 x 1 here. So, if you will just uh, replace this function like f of x x 0 in this expansion here then we can just obtain this expression of f of x as f of x equals to f of x 0 plus x minus x 0 into f of x 0 x 1 plus x minus x 0 x minus x 1 f of x x 0 x 1 here. So, likewise if you will just uh, uh, add one more point one more point finally, we can just uh, obtain this formula that can be given as f of x as f of x 0 plus x minus x 0 f of x 0 x, x 1 plus x minus x 0 x minus x 1 f of x 0 x 1 x 2 plus up to x minus x 0 x minus x 1 up to x minus x n minus 1 f of x 0 x 1 to x n plus r of x term or this complete expansion I can just write here that one as r of x term here. So, if I will just write this a r of x term, so like our earlier error term expansion I can just uh, write this error term as r of x here as x minus x 0 x minus x 1 to x minus x n and uh, this term can be last term can be written as x x 0 to x n here and obviously in a modified form it can be written as x minus x 0 x minus x 1 to x minus x n f to the power n plus 1 zeta by n plus 1 factorial here where zeta should be lies between x 0 to x n here. So, Newton's divided difference formula also converts to Newton's forward difference formula for equidistance uh, tabular points. So, based on this uh, interpolation formula we will just uh, solve one problem that is uh, using this uh, like uh, tabular values that has been given as x as minus 1 0 3 6 7 and f of x is given as 3 minus 6 39 8 22 16 11 here. If you will just use this uh, divided difference that is like the tabular values as uh, x and f of x that is uh, minus 1, 0, 3, then 6, 7 and the f of x values are like 3, minus 6, 
So, if you just find the first divided difference here, this means that minus 6 minus 3 by 0 minus of minus 1 here. So, it can just uh, give you the value of uh, minus 9 here. Since minus 6 minus 3, if I will just write this one here, minus 6 minus 3 divided by like 0 minus of minus 1 here. So, that is nothing but minus 9. Similarly, I can just uh, find the difference like 39 minus of minus 6 by 3 minus 0 here and that will just give you value of 15 here. And if I will just uh, take this next difference here, I can just get that one as 261 here. This means that difference between these two here divided by difference of these two here. Similarly, if I will just uh, take the difference of 1611 minus 822 divided by 7 minus 6 here, I can just obtain this value as 789 here. Next, we will just go for second order divided difference here that is 15 minus of minus 9 divided by 3 minus of minus 1 here. So, for this one we have to consider like 3 minus of minus 1 here. Second, if I will just consider this uh, divided difference of these 2 here, 261 minus 15 here, I have to consider the difference of 6 minus 0 here. So, the next one if I will just consider the difference of 789 minus 261 here, I will just consider the difference of 7 minus 3 here. So, this divided difference is just producing the values like 6 here, then 41, then 132 here. And again I, if I will just take the difference 41 minus 6 here, I have to take the difference of 6 minus of minus 1 here. And if I will just take the difference of 132 minus 41 here, I will just take the difference of 7 minus 0 here. So, these values are like uh, 5 and uh, 13 here, that is third order divided difference. And fourth order divided difference that is 13 minus 5, 7 minus of minus 1 here, that will nothing but the value as 1 here. So, if you will just put in the formula, we can just obtain that one as f of x equals to first value as f of x 0 plus x minus x 0, f of uh, x 0 x 1 plus x minus x 0 x minus x 1 f of uh, x 0, x 1, x 2 plus x minus x 0, x minus x 1, x minus x 2, f of uh, x 0, x 1, x 2, x 3 values. So, if I will just put all these values, then it can just uh, provide us uh, like uh, one more point I have to add it up here. Since uh, one like 0 value, x 0 value is this one here, x 1, x 2, x 3, x 4 here. So, I have to add one more term here that is x minus x 0, x minus x 1, x minus x 2, x minus x 3, f of x 0, x 1, x 2, x 3, x 4 here. So, if I will just put all these values, uh, then I can just obtain this polynomial of order 4 here and the final polynomial is x to the power 4 minus 3 x square plus 5 x square minus 6 here. So, if I will just uh, use uh, uh, this uh, divided difference, I can just uh, deal any type of uh, like interpolation formula to get the solutions. So, next class maybe I will just continue for this uh, some advanced uh, interpolation formula, so that I will just discuss in the next lecture. Thank you for listening this lecture.